In the footage, a law enforcement officer stands over the accused, James L. Ray, and reads him his rights. One, you have the right to remain silent. Number two, anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. And number three, you have a right to have a lawyer. It's July 1968, three months after Martin Luther King's assassination. James Earl Ray has just been extradited back to the US after fleeing to London. He's made to wear a bulletproof vest as he's manhandled to a prison cell. Officials were worried someone might try to kill their suspect. Later, Ray is seen being strip searched. Officials in Tennessee deliberately filmed all aspects of the legal process. They wanted no loopholes in this high profile murder case. A long life, longevity has its place. The civil rights leader, Martin Luther King, already had his place in American history by the time he was shot dead outside his Memphis motel room exactly 45 years ago. A shocking event in a tumultuous decade. Nowadays, the many commemorations of his legacy include this monument in Washington, D.C. John and Shaw respected the Jew. Gus Carriotto, prospective juror. And the grainy footage released this week is another marker. We see potential jurors identifying themselves in court, but they were never needed. James Earl Ray pleaded guilty and died in prison. Amazingly, this footage was forgotten. Officials stumbled upon it two years ago and had it digitally restored, a permanent reminder of America's past upheavals. Rajesh Merchandani, BBC News, Washington.